you don't understand Minecraft. Minecraft is one of the most influential games ever as its influence is seen in other projects. It's a game that many consider the best. If someone asks you what Minecraft is about, some would respond that it's just a game with blocks and you build to survive, which is partially correct. But Minecraft is more than that. It's loved for a reason. It's unique, resembles quality of life, and can portray critical thinking. Minecraft is a game I never imagined I would take the time to understand and evaluate. But for some time now, I struggle to find the pleasure that Minecraft tends to offer. While being entirely transparent, I wasn't fond of playing Minecraft, but I wanted to give myself a chance to understand what Minecraft portrays. And wow, it's something that I am grateful to experience. I was very reluctant to play Minecraft because I needed to figure out where to start. And that's the key word I would like to focus on. I wasn't serious about my actions and I had this cycle in which I would create a new world just to delete it. Before I dig further into the video, please remember to leave a like on this video and subscribe. I am a small time creator and any support would mean a lot. Let's try to hit 50 likes, shall we? Thank you. Honestly, just repeating the cycle of creating a new world just to delete it and expecting something to change is a bad habit that I had. The only time you will see changes is when you start your journey. That satisfaction isn't going to change by itself. But Minecraft is vastly different than any other game. For example, in most video games, assignments, or workloads, there is usually a tiny boost for you to get to the plot. However, with Minecraft, you spawn with nothing. But eventually, you need to work with something. And that's where the magic sparks in Minecraft, by punching a tree to your solutions. But Minecraft does an excellent job of giving the players the freedom to set off. Minecraft teaches the player the ability to manage your resources. How will you adapt? How will you expand? And how will you be able to use tools to your advantage? In Minecraft, you're not telling someone else's story. It's you who is writing the journal. You start your journey from the beginning, experiencing new heights, and eventually you will come to a conclusion. At the same time, Minecraft doesn't have an ending. It's really up to the player to determine where your journey ends. And that's the beauty of Minecraft. You get to choose how you start and end and whether you are satisfied with what you have managed to achieve in this game. The goal of Minecraft is to work with what you have and continue to see where it gets you. How would you solve certain matters and eventually overcome those obligations. That's really up to you to answer. Replicating other creators' worlds or trying to follow an ambiguous creation could lower your ambition for the game. Minecraft, as I have said, is about working with the tools that are being presented. That's how you start. But trying to follow someone else's story or creation is a trap. Minecraft is about being creative and being able to display your vision or however you want to see it. I am not the best creator, but I have decided to stop pursuing and looking at other creation to see what I can build on my own terms and if anything expand on the idea I have discovered. I felt empty trying to replicate someone else's experience and was dedicated to seeking other craft. Doubting yourself and telling yourself that you're not capable of the output is what Minecraft negates. Minecraft is about allowing you to make things happen by just setting your own rules. At the end of the day, it's your show and you get to dictate and choose a direction for your world that nobody else can control. And if you ever feel hopeless at one point, I was in that position, I'll be honest. 
For some time now, in the world of Minecraft, it's hollow. It could be difficult at times, but you are given many options to change that. Honestly, it's not really the end of the world, and Minecraft is not the end of your session. And if you do run in through some troubles, but understand one task, and that is once you start, there is no turning back. Your struggles and experience are how you learn from your mistakes and adapt. No matter the struggles, if you are diligent enough to focus on your task, the possibility of achieving your desired goals will be a success. So scope out your world, set realistic expectations, be determined for your task and get ready to work with what you have. And remember to continue on the road because we don't know what's going to happen. This is what Minecraft teaches. See how you can use problem solving skills to overcome your matters. Do you fully understand yourself, your strengths, or your weaknesses? Did you take the necessary risk? What reward did you receive for facing those risks? In this series, what I like to do is uh, bring in a quote from philosophy and try to correlate it with life. So one man said, true wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves and the world around us. In the world that we live in, I don't think punching a tree is healthy for your fist. Let's be honest, but earlier on, I said that Minecraft resembles quality of life. In life, there isn't going to be much guidance. You still need to fill in those steps. The ability to understand yourself, find new ways to improve. How can we use the tools that is surrounding us to eventually overcome those challenges? With proper management and, you know, digging out the risk to receive the reward or being somewhat patient until the diamond shines. Socrates points out that not everyone comes with wisdom. Once we accept that idea, we don't have the answer and are open to welcome new ideas, creativity, problem solving, and so on. It will result in growth. This is where we actually attain knowledge. In Minecraft, you can't assume what to expect, but you can learn, have an adventure, having fun, and maybe you can predict the outcome. I understand Minecraft isn't a serious game, but I wanted to say to the whole community that those who contributed to the game are amazing. I also wanted to share what Minecraft is about or my analogy, if you want to put it that way. Minecraft is monumental and will stay with us for many years. And guess what? I'm happy to say that. We have seen Minecraft content for the past 15 years and will see more adventures from others. So if anybody asks you, what is Minecraft about? You can give them a simple answer or you can say that Minecraft is about fulfilling your story. I love this game, especially those who haven't played it. I'm sure you will love it as well if you give it a try. All you gotta do is start the game. I wish I never shunned this game away. I'm happy that my story with Minecraft still needs to be finished. Many things still needs to be done. And I would love to continue sharing my journey with you. What made me love Minecraft is the adventure. The thrill of exploring. How much you are willing to risk. The idea of expanding your creativity and most importantly the unlimited choices the game continues to present as i continue playing this game my ideas continued to grow i was finding proper solutions and it's a pleasure to have a game that could be very relaxing minecraft can provide that if you need a challenge but if you want peace you could also get that Minecraft is about allowing the players to express their creativity and their journey without really being stressed about the rules that players can bestow on them. Minecraft was never famous because of the graphics or the under pressure hype, it's because of the community and the loyalty and the compassion that comes with it is what makes a lot of people love Minecraft. There isn't any other game like Minecraft. What Minecraft teaches the player is that not everything that you do requires perfection. Sure, you can seek for pristine condition, but that would require time. 
maybe take small steps to your goal and practice. Accept that idea that not everyone is perfect and continue walking the path until the opportunity shines. Work with what you have and so long as you get to your solution, there is nothing to worry about. Get ready for your next cycle and be patient and know that you're getting better day by day. And you gotta remember to enjoy what you created, enjoy what you have, but most importantly, enjoy your craft. So again, before I conclude this video, uh, to the viewers watching this, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. And I will share more Minecraft and other gaming content on this channel. Now, I shall resume my story in Minecraft and handle unfinished business. Goodbye everyone, take care, and see you in my next video. Thank you.